Step number one, before you install the, um, the wood buttons, uh, cut them in half. One bundle of uh, wood buttons usually covers two squares. So there's 18 pieces in each bundle. It depends on the, on the retailer, but most of them they, there's uh, 18 pieces on each bundle. And one bundle covers uh, two squares. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen squares. And I got some on the top, so I'm gonna cut it in half at uh, four feet so I can uh, install them on the roof. Ya yeah, poniendo los flashings. Los chavos, tráigase los flashings que están ahí abajo. ¿Ya lo subiste? Allá dejé dos a don Chava. Ahí abajo. This is a uh, uh, roof recover. No, roof recover. Roof uh, relay. We're going with two layers of felt after the the pin and stick and the lemon on the edge. So it's a full roll. And then we start with uh, two layers after. What's up guys? In this video I'm gonna guide you to a uh, tile reset. After installing uh, two layers of uh, felt, uh, I installed the wood buttons. Usually what I do, the towel has to overlap three inches over the bottom one, and then I use wood buttons and start loading. Well, this is what I do. I start loading from the third row and up, and I usually space them about <clears throat> six tiles per every 22 inches across. Mm, and then until I get to the ridge. When I get to the ridge, I usually uh, count the the last three rows and then I add the, the other tile on top. Let's say I always finish with nine on the top. I start with six and then finish with nine. And the problem with uh, a tile reset that uh, you're gonna have to put the tiles, you know, the cuts where they belong. Otherwise you're gonna have to make a uh, new cuts and that's gonna take you like some time. So that's why it's uh, recommended that you mark them before you take them apart. But this time, you know, I sent someone to uh, to remove the tiles and they didn't mark it for me, so they didn't know. So they just removed the, the old paper and they moved the tile all the way to the top and they left it on top of the plywood. So I came and then uh, I'm, I'm putting my new felt, I'm installing my new felt and then I, I'm loading my tile as I go. So usually I go like that. <clears throat> right now I finish right here and then I'm gonna overlap another layer to the half of the uh, felt that I have right there until I get to the ridge and then I mark it and then I install my wood buttons and then I can I'm going to continue up until I finish all the way to the ridge. And then right here on the ridge I'm gonna put a ridge board and that's it. Thank you guys. Hello YouTuber, this is Eric Garcia. Today I'm on top of the roof. Uh, I just finished. I finished it over the weekend, but I was short. See those red tiles over there? I was short 36 tiles. And uh, <clears throat> I went to pick them up this morning before the inspector shows up and uh, installed them. And also I came to paint the motor. I came to paint the motor with uh, red paint, the owner requested. I was trying to match the neighborhood, but he said he wanted them red, so I came in uh, and painted them red to, to make it look different. Um, I want to talk about wood buttons. Uh, some companies call them uh, foreign strips, wood strips whatever you call it 
they call them four inch strips, wood strips, wood buttons. Uh, and a lot of people, you know, they they want to install uh, wood battens on all kinds of uh, slopes. I don't recommend you to use wood battens on uh, 4 and 12, 5 and 12. This is a 6 and 12 uh, slope, so it's required. It's not required. Uh, I can still use nails by code uh, after you, you have a slope that's uh, 6 and 12 and up, then you can use uh, wood battens. Oh no, 7 and 12, I'm sorry. But uh, if, he, if it's not more than uh, 7 and 12, then don't worry about it. Uh, not in the tile or something. The problem is that if you use uh, 10 D nails, I mean 6 uh, A D nails, uh, the gravity and the weight of the tile is going to pull the nail slowly. And eventually, I was saying if you're going to uh, replace your, your tile, um, don't throw away your old tile. Uh, it's better to relay it, reset it, reinstall it. A lot of people call it relay. A lot of people call it reset, another reinstall, whatever you call it. Just uh, remove the old, the old felt underneath. Uh, make sure you go to the city, pull up permits, and uh, have an inspector come out to the job site and inspect your roofer's uh, job. Make sure he uh, replace all the damaged wood, and then at least at least install two layers of uh, 30 pound uh, felt. I don't recommend 40 pound because usually 40 pound requires one one layer, and two layers of 30 pounds are better than two than one layer of 40 pound. The same thing, uh, two layers of 15 pounds are better than one layer of 30 pounds, so, and so on. So there's so many things that. Uh, people think are better. Uh, it's better than others, but you know, by on the long run, you know, but as a roofer, you you know what's re what really works. A lot of people, you know, they advertise their their products and they say they make miracles. They last this long, and the product is about five five six years old, and uh, it's not even on the market too long to to say that the product is gonna last that long. So. Don't trust new products, I won't recommend you. So gold with all products like felt and uh, some products that's been tested, you know, that last and uh, you got like good results. <clears throat> but anyway, I just want to say that this is a, make sure that you tie the ladder to the, to the fascia board with a little rope and then uh, see the permit is posted on the door. So the inspector is going to see him when he shows up. And I reused the same tiles. What I did on this house, I I installed a a new piece of the... Uh, well, before it didn't have any any edge metal. And then I replaced the, the burst up metal. The one in the front. And then I set the tiles again. This is the way it looks. This is another look from the back, and this is the way it looks. This is how it looks on the front. The tiles on the side are called rakes, and the tiles on the on the top are called ridge. They're all the same, but. They just get a different name when they installed over the fascia and this is the fr the front of the house and this is the side of the house This is a uh, hot and windy area, so that's why a lot of uh, houses right here, they have tile. So all this is a uh, truck home, so they build them at one time and then they, 
the roofing at one time. So the builder they just went with one layer of uh, felt. That's the minimum requirement. So there's nothing wrong with that. But the problem is, you know, since uh, they go so fast, so sometimes they make little mistakes and. Uh, and after like 10, 20 years, you know, they start leaking. So that's why, you know, if you have like this kind of tile, don't throw it away, please. Don't do it, don't do it. Save it. Save it. And then uh, just uh, reset the tile, okay? Have a nice day, thank you very much.